Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Eker, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best working tombstone glitch as of Season 3 Reloaded for Call of Duty Zombies. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe as we're going to have tons of content coming out every single day for you guys. You can see the loadout right here. This is what we're going to use to duplicate. It's not anything extraordinary. It's just a test for you guys to see how easy it is to do this glitch. One of the best things about this glitch, in my opinion, is you guys do not have to worry about losing any of your items in the future if you guys were to do this glitch incorrectly. Make sure you guys do follow this step by step to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. If you guys are looking for a Discord to join, don't forget to join my Discord. Link will be in description. We have tons of awesome members in there with over 5,000 in total. We have anything from schematic drops, schematic help, tombstone help. If you guys are looking to play multiplayer or even Warzone or actually even a different game, we have a wide variety of an amazing Discord community that is always on 24-7 willing to help and play with each other. I have one of the best Discords in the community in my opinion and well, see for yourself and join today. If you guys are looking to unlock the new MW3 camos such as Interstellar, Borealis, Hard Unlocked, or even play in bot lobbies where you can level up your guns and unlock camos rapidly, or even the instant delivery pre-made accounts, be sure to check out MitchCactus.com. They include tons of legitimate services for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC, and have over 10,000 Trustpilot page reviews. Be sure to use code Eker for 5% off. Don't forget, act fast. You can already see on screen right here, I have a tombstone set up on the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and swap some of our items over. So that way we have a little bit of a better showcase for you guys. But we already have a tombstone set doing this glitch. That's how easy it is to do. You guys can do this complete solo, not having to worry about anybody else. Now, first on our list is going to be tombstone. Even before we grab the other tombstone, we're going to make sure we grab a tombstone can first. Whether you get it from doing contracts or unlocking by purchasing, you can see right here, I'm purchasing it for 1400 essence. You guys do not have any containment level. It is going to be a total of 2000 essence in general. But once we have a tombstone perk popped, we are good to start the glitch. Now, for instance, I'm just going to go ahead and swap some of my items out of my tombstones. That way you guys can see maybe a little bit better items getting duplicated. Now that you have purchased tombstone, no matter how you've gotten it, all you need to do is go to the bad signal portal. And from here, we will show you guys the final step into duplicating your items, keeping your weapons, your essence, or next game allowing you to duplicate and use whatever items you need to now that we are arriving at the bad signal portal all we're going to need to do is actually cut a left to go to this blue hotel once we guys are near the blue hotel this will make doing the glitch 10 times easier you'll so follow this exact same route that i am doing and then you will see a portal spawn right here once this portal spawns they're going to shoot the exact same code that i am shooting on screen but the only downfall is it will have a different kind of RNG or setting for you guys. In order to open that portal, it is going to be 1000 essence, but once that is completely done, all you need to do is run back to the bad signal portal, and this will allow you to do the glitch. So you can see we put that exact same code that's on screen for you guys. Now all we're gonna do is open up the portal and run to the anomaly, just like so, and make our way back to the portal. Now from here, we're gonna do the exact same thing we just did, but we're gonna run as fast as we can. I usually have decoy grenades on because I don't have help from randoms, but you can see right there, we had some help killing some of the zombies. So decoy grenades aren't really needed right now. So we'll run straight to this portal, just like so, and this will spawn us on the corner of the map. We will go ahead and jump through this building, and as soon as it hits three seconds, go ahead and vote. Now we're down to eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero this will allow us to teleport and then as soon as we get to the eliminated screen we want to close out our application you can see we got the eliminated screen a tiny bit right there so it came up on the screen and then it went away because we were teleporting now once we spawn back into the game we are not only going to have our tombstone for next game but we're also going to have our guns our inventory all of our consumables on our rucksack still there with our rucksack that we had originally going in now for me i will have a medium rucksack with a whole bunch of items and i will have my ram 7 class i believe unless it's the ram 9 either way i will have all of my guns all of my consumables and i will have a tombstone duplicated with everything inside of it 
as well as my essence. Now you can see us loading back into the zombies and on screen right here, you're going to see that my operator has every single item still on him right here. You can see that we have all of our items in our medium rucksack. So this would be everything that we just picked up from our tombstone. And we still have our Ram 7 assault rifle. We have our tactical, our lethal. We still have our self res. We still have our two plate armor and our medium rucksack. Now let's go ahead and go into the game and show you guys that we still have our tombstone. And you can see us loading back in with that little tombstone icon sticking out over towards the right. Every time you guys do this glitch correctly, you're going to see your tombstone spawn at the church or the cemetery area, which somebody got a really lucky spawn over there. But we'll go ahead and make our way over there to show you that all of our items duplicated and we still have a whole bunch in our tombstone still. And well guys, you can see we are arriving to our tombstone right now with a big gang of people already being here. And if we were to open up our rucksack, you can see exactly what items I have, plus my essence that I have on screen. And if we were to open up my tombstone, well, it is completely duplicated. So we're gonna go ahead and drop all of these items for somebody in case they were in need of this. So drop, 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 drop. And we'll go ahead and take our new items. We're gonna go ahead and yoink that ether blade. But if you guys are looking for any more glitches, make sure you guys do hit that like button. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys wanted to rinse and repeat this glitch over and over again, all you need to do is purchase another tombstone soda can and do the exact same steps all over again. You guys can do this at any point in the game. You don't have to do it right away and you don't have to do it at the end of the game. Whenever you are ready to do your tombstone glitch, go ahead and pop and do everything as I did on screen. As always, love you guys. Peace.